Hey, folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Red Dwarf. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic day. All right, man, so far, enjoying the season. Curious to see what's going to happen next with them getting out of uh, the old AR thing since they're all inside of simulation right now. And I'm wondering when they're a dose to be put in a simulation and if Rimmer's in a simulation with them as well. If they drug him somehow and he thinks that he's actually slick with these chicks and all that kind of jazz and he's actually in the thing, especially since old boy mentioned at the table, maybe it was to trigger Rimmer to see what he was going to do once he found out that they're going to find out everything just to try to reveal more of like Rimmer's motives as well. They try to get him put in prison. So it makes me wonder if he's inside the system as well. All in all, man, I'm curious to see how this is going to go. If Ace Rimmer's going to come back, if we're going to get the Ace Rimmer and then the other Rimmer's going to stay on that ship, or if we're going to have the human Rimmer with us going forward. Part of me thinks we're going to have the hologram like Ace Rimmer come back because I've seen like, you know, promotional material when I was looking for like merchandise stuff for the show where he clearly looked older and he had the H on his head, but it could be just because that's what's known. That's how people look at Rimmer. It's the hologram Rimmer. So for promotional merchandise and all that kind of jazz, he always has the H because that's what people are used to. So it could just be that. Um, or it could be for sure that we're going to get Ace Rimmer back and something might happen to the human Rimmer or the human Rimmer could pass away or something like that. And he becomes the new hologram version of Rimmer. I don't know. All right, folks, man, let's just go ahead and jump into it, and we'll talk about it more at the end. One day in this lousy, stinking penal colony, and I'm cracking up. Everyone's so deranged and brutal, it's frightening. This afternoon, I was so depressed, I went to see the social worker. Was he any help? Not really. He beat me up. <laughs> he said I was a whining Nancy boy with girly white legs. <laughs> then pummeled me repeatedly with his book, showing compassion to inmates. I thought social workers were supposed to be nice. In the end, I was so shell-shocked, I went to see the priest and explained everything. What did he say? He said I was a whining baby who was missing... <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody's terrible. Too. You can still see the crucifix marks in the back of my head. It's because we're in G-Tower. All the stuff are mad here. Since when were you interested in a trouser press? <laughs> you care less about your appearance than a member of the Dutch royal family. No, and I, I was thinking, them up now. if we got moved to a cell with a trouser press, we could make cheese toasties. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's my fault. What's this? Everything is ruined. My career's over. I have no goal, no hope, no life. Yeah, but how come that starts to get you down now? <laughs> Maybe you hadn't noticed, but we're going to spend the next two years in the brig. Jesus. Two years with the scum of the universe, hardened criminals, deranged droids, people so unbalanced and debauched they couldn't even get elected as president of the United States. Damn. <laughs> We've got to escape. Oh, the security cameras everywhere. You know that mad geezer with the one eye and the funny tick? He said it was impossible. He was bound to say that. He was the warden. <laughs> if only I'd hired a smarter lawyer instead of the brain-dead, pompous, stupid-haired git I ended up with. You defended yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, and I don't need reminding of that, thank you very much. At least my computer graphics department's got some new equipment. <laughs> it's the one to show it off. <laughs> got an idea. Let's make the ship dance. <laughs> that was them up like, yeah, I, th I think something's wrong. I think we might be in a simulation. Because <laughs> how is this possible? Like, I still need your credentials. <laughs> the agreement between Lister and Rimmer and remove. All references removed. What was that? Something hmm. weird just happened. Yeah, I felt it too. Yeah, it was again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> uh, what is it? Looks I like some of my editing. I have that feeling all the time. I have it. I believe we're in some kind of computer manipulated, psychotropically induced mind state. You took the words right out of my mouth. You mean this is our trial? 
Our escape is our trial. The envelopes. When we sign the consent forms, there must have been some kind of drug on the gluey bit we licked. So you mean nothing's been real yeah, since then? Yeah, makes sense. Blue midget? The ground controller? None of that was real? You mean after all this, I still haven't got a date? <laughs> <laughs> Another year when I have to send a Valentine card to my hand. <laughs> well, this is good, this is good. The proves are innocent. Everything we've said and done, escaping. I got it! There's a button here with E11T on it. And? 11 is XI in Roman numerals. E, X, I, T. Exit. He got that. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Out. This is not reality. <laughs> Where did you get that? That's it. Now we're all. <laughs> oh, dude, they made him creepy. Well, somehow. Oh, we're God, Craig, too. We need to locate a power source so we can switch the AR machine off. Power source? <laughs> yeah, they all look terrible. Somewhere. Maybe it's in this high soul. <laughs> There's some food in here. <laughs> so? Including a bottle of ketchup. So, power ketchup, get it? What's to get? Power sauce. Oh no, you got the next one too. Plasticine. Press it. Oh. Oh. You backstabbing Weasley Smegger. You were trying to frame us. Listy, just the man. Now, I know at first glance this may look bad. God, he's gorgeous. Oh, hold it back. Please hold it. Please. No more. No more. Oh, those nostrils are driving me crazy. I've simply got to hold it back. Right. Help me. <laughs> hey, Liz, we're going to wear off. Mr. Catcher, put the lift on hold. I want his babies. <laughs> <laughs> the look virus, you still got it. Take some. It'll cure the virus and restore you both to normal. Why would I want to take off with you lot? What have you got to offer? Well, I'm very good at laundry, sir. <laughs> I do a damn fine moon impression. I'm so gorgeous, there's a six-month waiting list for birds to suddenly appear every time I am near. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what they say, sir. If you've got three good friends, you're a rich man. Only poor people say that. <laughs> Forget it! Is that gonna change his mind? <laughs> He's right, time is of the essence. The crew will know we're out of AR now and are probably sending someone to investigate. Don't know, really. <laughs> the, um, Talk best. Um, um, that head of safety. Head of safety? That's a hell of a title. But what did he actually do? He sought out danger. He sought out peril. And that he advises the best way to run away from it. <laughs> Head of safety, five buttons. I'm in. <laughs> He's in. Let's celebrate. I'll crack open a bottle of cyanide. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh dude. You're the ground controller? Please get your name and So bogus. Code. Reality sucks. <laughs> reality sucks. One no. second, Mr. Sucks. Just checking my clearance list. That's a statutory sentence. I know. Two years in the brig. So instead of the original charge and a possible sentence of two years in the brig, they've been found guilty on another charge and got an entirely different two years in the brig. Damn. That's going to be a great comfort to them. <laughs> bring them round and break the news. Yeah. Terrible. I thought there was a chance the um, brig was AR How as well. How can we be sure? Why do we care? Nothing makes any sense no matter where we are. So one was Rummer was actually there with them too. Look, everything was real before we licked the envelopes, right? Then we conked out and 
got carted off to AR. But before we licked anything, before we licked anything, I lent you my Holly watch. So if this is reality, I should still be wearing it. Oh yeah, this is reality, all right. Oh. I'd recognize it anywhere. <laughs> also, sir, shouldn't you have the viruses? Again, you found them on Starbug before we licked the envelopes. The luck virus. Maybe we can get out of this mess. I'll have that. The lab boys are gonna want to run tests on it. Where's the other one? I'm afraid I lost it, sir. God damn it, Rimmer! <laughs> Horny. The lab boys wanted. <laughs> God damn it, Rimmer! That was a booty. Fault. My fault. You betrayed us over that confidential file scan. Stole the sexual magnetism virus. You lied to us. And generally behaved like a self-serving, scum-sucking, ruthless little rat bag. And that's bad? <laughs> it is a finding of this Terrible. inquiry that you have been found guilty of contravening Act 21 of the Space Federation. Before sentencing, you will have medical so you can be assigned appropriate prison status. I buggered this up a bit, haven't I? <laughs> Welcome to the tank. So bogus. <laughs> Cold blooded. All right, man. I was wondering the entire time if Rumor was in there, and if I was starting to think the prison thing was part of AR as well, to see how if they're gonna try to escape their sentence or something. I don't really know for sure what direction they're going in with everything. I was also curious about Rumor, like if Rumor was in the AR with them, and at what point. Did he get the opportunity to actually lose, use the luck virus? Was he actually sleeping with people? Or was he like placed in there and thought he was sleeping with people? Just didn't know for sure. Um, and I was also wondering how the captain will be suspicious about a virus that I, I thought they knew nothing about. Because they like found a virus, but for how many millions of years, unless there was in stasis and everybody died. So it's a future virus. And they were brought back by the nanobots. So how will he know about the luck virus or the sexual attraction virus? You know? And it makes sense that he how he knew about it. I'm not sure why he said he was suspicious. If he was watching it the entire time in the AR and he wasn't actually sleeping with those chicks, he just thought he was. I don't know, man. Or maybe he did, because he said he did have the luck virus at first, so maybe he did sleep with a couple chicks, and then he got put into the AR, and the AR let him know that he had the luck, luck virus. Why did he say he was suspicious that he might have it? Because how would he even know about it? I don't know. Whatever. I'm just probably thinking too much about it. Also, somebody else asked a question about like how could the luck virus cancel out the sexual magnetism virus? Somebody mentioned in the comments. I haven't gone back to the comment section recently, so if one of you guys answered it, then it's all good in the hood. But I'm curious too, how would the luck virus cancel out the sexual magnetism virus? You know, I just thought about it now. It makes sense that it cancels it out if you don't want to sleep with that person. Like, Rimmer was clearly sore. He didn't want to sleep with her. He was like, please keep her away from me. So drinking the luck virus will, you know, it makes things work in your favor. So if you don't want to have sex with a chick, it'll make the chick like, not sleep with you. So it makes sense. I just answered my own question just thinking about it. And somebody may have answered it already as well the same way. Oh no, man. Another decent episode. I look forward to seeing what happens. I wonder if the next episode is going to be them in prison and them trying to escape the brig and doing something else. Curious about that. And the dance routine was so goofy. <laughs> Him dancing with the robot. I'm like, why would the robot have that function where it follows everything you do? Like, why is that necessary? I guess for remote access, if like you have to get out of it and it's stuck and you got to control it to make it get out with like, you know, with mech stuff, I guess. I guess it kind of makes sense, but for the most part, just really, really goofy. It was very campy and goofy. Um, I was thinking somebody has some new CGI equipment. I was like, let's see what we can do with it. Let's make the, uh, let's make the, what they call it, the blue midget. Let's make the blue midget dance. That'd be hilarious. Let's do that. All in all, I enjoyed this episode, folks. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.